Wait, hello there, and welcome back to Evil West. Okay, that sounds great. Apologize for not uploading. I just it's been it's been a busy few. It's been a bit of a busy few. Hello there. You look like a friend. Alright, pal. Excuse you. Oh, I forget how to play this game. How do I... how do I use... I have a rifle. How do I... there we go. Ow. Oh, we are off to a fantastic start. I don't even know how to play the game. Sir, if you could please calm down. Now, sir, would you like to perhaps talk to one of our managers? So I never mentioned how weird it is that he just like shoves a bunch of bullets into the magazine. That's not really how you revolve, reload, or like this. <clears throat> Come on, big boy. Yeah, that's right, you missed. How does that feel? Now, okay, don't do that. Okay, I gotta deal with all of this. Now, come on. Why do we have to start this all off with a boss battle? I like, got of all the things. No, don't you dare. I gotta wait for my heal thing to like, charge up. Please. Okay, there we go. I just got smacked by him. Thought I dodged that. Now he's missing an arm. Just like a noob. Oh, I'm not gonna execute you, that's way too risky. Here we go. Oh! Gosh dang it. He fell right when I wanted to execute him. You little wiener. You sausage. No, that doesn't work. Let's not do that, maybe. It's like, I'm so worried about meleeing these guys, because it's like... You know, it's... It's so risky to do so, and I don't know if the damage output is really worth it. Get wrecked, get wrecked, noob. Get utterly destroyed. Ow. Okay, I guess I'll get destroyed. So, like, I thought there was a parry that you can do, or at least, like, a well timed block to stun the enemy. But like, I, I forget how to do that. Give me 
your health. Excellent. Excellent. Very nice, very sweet. Sweet like honey. Ow. I gotta stop saying ow. Like every single time I get hit in any game, I just say ow. Come here. Dead. D E D. Dead. Hello? Is anyone there? Bloom? Is that you down there? Uh, yes, it's it's me. But who are? Whoa! You're Jesse Renier, sir. Splendiferous. Care to explain what happened here, Bloom? Oh, no. uh, well, I was sent here to investigate reports of a novel breed of sanguisus. When I arrived, sanguisus. I got a group of familiars, apparently sent here by their masters. That was a familiar? How come a human turned into that thing so quickly? Well, excellent question, sir. My thesis is that their transformation is linked to the blood from these creatures somehow. The how is what I'm stuck on. Uh, we better take one of those things back with us to the lab still beats me what those familiars were doing here well, from what i could gather they were sent on a transport detail securing a convoy of carts filled with some curious wriggly little creatures they brought from the callum sawmill uh, we need to check that place out sounds cool I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I do really like the steampunk aesthetic of this game. Even though it's not like extreme steampunk, it's, you know, still a little, little steampunky. I, I don't know if I said this before, but I'm very much a steampunk fan. So what is going on with your face, madam? Let me just adjust that a little bit. There we go. How about you, sir? There you go. Looking better already, how about you? Fantastic. Hello, you have any food to eat? Can I have a word with you, sir? If they want to get rid of Amelia, I say we go on strike. Dr. Blackwell has always had our backs. You need to stand up. With so many agents lost, they can't afford to lose us too. I'm sure the others will back me up on this. Amelia is our lead, and that's just that. Sure, I mean, I came here for food and not work talk, but okay. Got some corn. Yeah, do we have any meat up in here? Need some meat. I need some meat. I don't want to, want to, what is that, a cucumber? What is that? What is that, this disgusting is what it is. Bread? Who likes bread? No one likes bread, I'm leaving. Oh, I guess there is some meat there. Never mind. You guys are good. But it's not enough. Okay. Let's see what's over here. Never mind. It's cutscene time. Jess, when we dragged your dad in here, there was an awful lot of blood on him. You'll be fine. Bastard's too damn stubborn to die. I've seen my share of battle wounds. The ones William got. No way even half of that came out of him alone. Somewhere between the falling airships and hopping boo hags, I don't know. Could be that collateral damage wasn't the tick's only objective. Could be they... Uh, they infected him? No. 
No fucking way. Jess, hold your horses and just think about it. The Institute is infiltrated, and I let both you and William walk away? Jess, when a tick turns a familiar, they form a sort of bond. The sire can see into the servant's mind. Now, they make that link with, say, the man who developed that weapon you're carrying. Edgar, our orders are clear when folks get infected. Infected means dead. Those are his own words. Breathe. I've got an idea. Remember that crap I brought from Lake Mora Pass? That plant that was supposed to be a base for a cure one day. I'm not gonna gamble my father's life on some swamp nerd's magic potion. It's not like we got a handful of aces here, Jess. Dabano and his lunatic spawn had taken the fight to us. And I sure as hell don't want to go to war without our general. Do you? All right. The plant might be back in the manor's ruins. I'll go check if there's anything left of the lab, but you... I go. You need to take care of the gauntlet. I don't give a flying fuck about the gauntlet. I'm not sitting on my ass while my father grows a new set of teeth. And no one asks you to. But if I fail, you and that gauntlet will be the only thing between us and a war we can't win. I got this, okay? Just keep an eye on that nosy lady doctor. And stay close to William. Just in case I don't make it back in time. So, um, I guess that ain't the good. He's got some nice boots, I'll give him that. Alright, anything in here for me? between the states might be over but the larger war the secret war continues many men still suffering from the toll the war took on their spirits souls and bodies find themselves vulnerable to the sanguizuja's vicious predations because of that we must ramp up our efforts our scientific research team has been working on a device that might finally give us an edge in this fight as part of this effort I am officially promoting Agent Edgar Gravener to take my place in the field. I, of course, will continue on from the home office. Thank you all for your service, and may the good Lord watch over and protect us. Director William Rentier. I have developed a gauntlet. It will allow you to punch demons. Not a ranged weapon, of course. You don't want to get too far away from them. You just, you know, get nice and close and personal. So I like to kill my enemies up close and personal. Thank you, good sir. Open says me. Hooray. Alright, what we got going on over here? You know what? He can not watch out for me. No, I don't want to reset everything. Just seeing how things are going. They're going, but they'll go even better if people stop interrupting me. Uh, no offense, Mr. Jesse, but I need some quiet time to concentrate if I'm going to get this done. I mean, getting shot by me isn't exactly, you know, the best thing while you're working. Do you have a moment, sir? I, I guess. Battle's head was taken. We lost so much knowledge. Yeah. Imagine what we could have learned. Six centuries of knowledge would have been an amazing contribution to the Institute's database. Sure. I mean, he's a talking head. So we know that he talks. That's all I know. All the knowledge I can gain from that. Alright, let's go see what the doctor is doing. 
probably doing doctor stuff. Is there anything down here? Hello. Oh good, we got a nice little torture chair. $82. I might quit my day job and just run around buildings. Well, that looks nice. Alright, you guys keep doing whatever it is that you're doing. I really don't actually want to know, so... Am I going to have to fight that later? I don't want to. Alright, Miss Doctor. Here I come. Up like rabbits. They're fierce and resourceful, but still not anything we can class as an evolutionary step up the ladder. Well, if anything, they're a step backwards, mindless and bloodthirsty. They're cannon fodder. If this is De Bono's idea of an army, humans turn to minions or whatever foul blood beasts they'll end up being. Foul blood? Precisely, sir. Splendiferously observed. I guess to know for sure we have to investigate McCallum's sawmill? McCallum's won't be an easy nut to crack. Without a working gauntlet, we can't penetrate its glamours. Guess it's high time to check up on our resident genius. I just did like three minutes ago. He's God. he's having a a time. Paper, paper everywhere. I can't find shit in here. Oh, hi! <sighs> Holy moly, where are my notes? As we all know, Faraday's mutual induction phenomenon. Virgil, take it easy with the jargon, please. You're talking to a field. Yeah, I'm a big dumb. I need small word. Uh, you sure you don't want to hear my radiography joke about... Uh, never mind. Here it is. Long story short, I reverse engineered the disruptor mechanism and identified the problem. Its energy consumption is off the charts. Best engineer in the Institute, huh? Well, before you jump down his throat, perhaps we can give Virgil a chance to explain himself. Miniaturization has its limits. If you want a working disruptor like this, you have to accept the fact that it won't be, well, portable. Like Amelia so kindly pointed out, I'm a field agent. As in, I go out in the field. If the gauntlet's not portable, it's useless. I don't mean to put your ass over the fire, but... Apparently you do. But, if we don't get it running, we're all done for. Can you make it work? Well, maybe if I could somehow get my hands on some spare coils from the original disruptor... Done. Where can I find them? They're just, you know, in this snowy world, hundreds of miles away, with Aurora Borealis happening at this hour, in this place. Director Rentier sent me there to deliver a crate of heavy electrical coils. They were designed to help our engineers disrupt the illusion. Unfortunately, before the team could collect any relevant data, the cell was destroyed by the ticks. Rip. Whatever they were hiding must have been important. They left no one alive. How will I know these coils, Birch? Just look for a miniaturized electrical resonance. Okay, resident okay, that's not gonna work. Pack your shit, kid. We're out in five. I'll go down first to clear the way. Try not to get killed or Blackwell skin me alive. Right. Roger that, Mr. Jesse. Okay. Let's go have Sir? some fun. Did you already find it? No, I've been standing right next to you for the entire time, dude. This looks like a ski resort. Let's see, what secrets can we find? That's some heavy machinery there. Wonder if I can get it working. Probably not. Dear Alice, I hope you and the children are well. 
Yesterday, we came across something down in the mines that I can't explain. Imagine a wall of gemstones harder than diamonds. Angus tried to break it apart using dynamite, but it didn't budge. Angus Mix 6. Did Angus to use a much larger charge, but all that did was cause a cave in. Many men were lost. Angus and Eastwood among them. That's fine. He'll be reborn in the Celestial Fire. Don't worry about it. Angus Mix 6 is a pretty strong guy. No, that's you. Alright, let's see if we can get this to work. Hmm, this oddly looks like a battle arena. Wonder if there's going to be a little battle in here. Oh my goodness, there is. Ow. 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 Okay, I'm currently just not having a good time. Okay, you gotta stop. You, specifically you, you gotta stop. Keep dropping frames. You're not. You weirdo. You weirdo. Okay, well, that's fine. Attack me. Dork. You nerd. You utter nerd. You loser. Alright, cool, that went well. Yeah, what's this blue shiny thing over here? Give me the shiny. Oh, I guess I already have some shiny. Okay. Alrighty. Let's continue forward then. 333 dollars. Dude, I am rich. I am so rich right now. How did you get here? They must have transported them somewhere down those rails. But look what our agents left behind. Huh. I'm gonna take it for a test drive. Thanks. Crippling rod. This device blasts the electrical discharges, temporarily disabling the electro cutting the enemies, cutting the enemies. Being perfectly harmless to humans. Needs to recharge between uses. Press X to use. No need to close your eyes. Alright. We're harmless to humans. I forget how to use my shotgun. How do I how do I use it? Is it No it's F, okay. Sir, I do not need this right now. Ow. Right, you guys are just okay. All right then. Okay. Be that way, I guess. Dead. I gotta. I'm still trying to get comfortable with controls. I gotta take care of this guy. Take 
Throw this this wiener up here. Guys could like stop making these weird little babies, that would be nice. Shotgun didn't really do anything. Alright, we're good. We're fine. We're almost done here. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Ow. I guess you can't block those. Alright, cool, we good. We are good. We're fine. Now let's relax and read a note. Baxter. With the creation of this new invention, a new era has arrived. This marvel of modern science will empower us in ways we never modern. before. Like modern. The invention of the repeating rifle and the Gatling gun. It will revolutionize our ability to wage war against our natural enemies. Natural enemies. What are you doing, sir? Sir, you're dead. Okay, sir, you're really dead. Um... He's... he's okay. I'll just... I'll just let him do his thing. Alright, well... I'm gonna go ahead and leave this... this episode off here. Let me see, are there any upgrades I can get? Healing is followed up with the five. Oh, I already have these. Um, enemies can be shot right after becoming airborne. Rover can now fit an additional bullet. 3,000 coins just to have an extra bullet. Does not sound worth it to me. I'm sorry. Um, let's see here. Three bullets. I gotta upgrade all this stuff. Uh, improved boomstick reload mechanism that allows for a 20% faster cooldown. Okay. I still have to upgrade all this. Upgrade all this. This is all level whatever. Level 5, level 6. Uh, what about perks? Do I have any perk points? Have any points to spend? I don't think so. No, doesn't seem like it. Alright, well... I mean, maybe I should buy something, but really these two do not seem worth it to me. I mean, this is basically just like a mid-air juggling punch that you can do. But I don't know. I don't know. I mean, a shotgun one might be worth it. It's 4,500. I don't know. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and go. 
Um, so yeah. <laughs> Oof, I'm missing all these collectibles, man. Missing all of these collectibles. Look at that thing. That weird, weird thing. Oh, it's all so weird. Look at all the leeches. Oh, that's so weird. You're kind of cool. I like you. You're weird. You're cool. I like you. You're weird. I don't like you. I don't like you. Alright, anyway, I'm going to leave this episode off here. Next time we'll go ahead and continue. So, let's see if we can find that coil electric thingamabob that we're trying to look for. Data gathering. Hold on. Hold on. We inform you that while playing Evil West, Focus Entertainment collects the following data. Your username and ID, if any, your IP address, and the platform you're playing on, and certain certain of your logs. What? It will keep your personal data for two years after the collect, and then we will anonymize them and store them only for statistic and administrative purposes. Why? Game data is processed and fully con confidently solely to enhance your... Okay, let's read, actually. This data is processed in full confi confidentiality solely to enhance your gaming experience, the game in general. I'm just gonna... Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.